area. The kickoff is going to be a short one and right at the five-yard line. And right up to the 25-yard line. Stacy Danley. He gets about three yards, and let's check out the defense. Action from their offense today. Play action as Perry tried to find Cedric Smith at the 38-yard line. Rua averaging just over 39 yards a punt. And Wasden across midfield to the 47, and Auburn will have great field position. Alex Strong, and he's inside the 45 to the 43 yard. Second down and four, call it a six yard pickup. And they'll pound it again. That's James Joseph. That's enough for the first down at the 35. They run it right up the middle. Cedric Smith, 39, the junior from Enterprise, Alabama. Willie really Sneed split to the near side. And they'll run it again. So interesting calls as Willie McClendon goes nowhere. The first series, three passes and a punt. The second series, three runs and a punt. First quarter. Florida puts it on the ground again, and Willie McClendon's got nowhere to go. He's playing guard. We got some backups in there. As McClendon takes it again, tries to go outside, and Clinton Riggins was all over him. Riggins, number 41, and Benji Rolla, 96. over there by Stacy Danley. Kerry Watkins was there on the coverage. That's going to be just short of a first down. Joseph. First down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. He went behind the right side of Rodney Garner. 100% right there. First and 10. Danley inside the 40 to the 38 yard line. Florida in 1970. Third down and three. First down inside the 30th, Stacey Danley. 40 yard attempt. And it's good. So Lyle, who came into the game, one of three from 40 plus yards, gets his second from that distance. South Carolina in the front time. Will be on tomorrow. That gets your NFL day all set. As Chris Johnson takes it off, and Lomax going to run it out of the end zone, and he is nailed at the 14-yard line. Domingo Anderson. The majority of games for the Gators this year. And McClendon gets to the line of scrimmage, and not much more than that. The low 
one setback. And he'll get the football as they try to run the left side, and he is smothered. 95, David Rocker, the younger brother of Tracy Rocker. Third and nine. Morris has two men, and that is intercepted. Shan Morris with his fourth interception of the year on the deflected pass. yard line Kerry Watkins finally makes a stop Stacy Danley first down offer first and ten now Perry is back at a quarterback McClendon I'll tell you what, Lee, he had that ball hanging out in one hand right there at the five-yard line. That's a delay, McClendon, and he's dropped at the three-yard line. Alvin Mitchell, 48. just 30 yards so with 35 seconds left to go in the first half Auburn has no timeouts remaining we haven't called Wingand either and they're both split to the left side and lawyer Tillman has it at the 31 yard line but no timeouts remaining has been 41 yards that was a good snap and it's short three seconds Three seconds left to go, first half. So Auburn still has not allowed a touchdown in the first half this year. And Florida has still allowed just one touchdown in the first half. A true defensive battle between these two Southeastern Conference rivals who have one loss apiece as five teams do in the Southeastern Conference. Auburn leads Florida three to nothing on homecoming Saturday in Gainesville. We'll kick it off for Auburn, Tony Lomack, number 20, and also Alonzo Sullivan, 86, back for the Florida Gators. Three to nothing. Auburn leads it. And Lomack, and they fake the reverse, and Lomack with a seam up the middle. Lomack with two men to beat. And he's brought down from behind at the 41-yard line. A 38-yard return. Goes in motion. And McClendon on a delayed pitch. Boy, there's just utter confusion right there. Tried to screen it, and finally Danley breaks out. The Florida defensive line did not bite. 11.41 to go, third quarter. Cedric Smith. Maybe to the line of scrimmage. It's tough running. Second and 15. Kirkpatrick in motion. Ball is not loose, and recovered. David Williams, 73, was a man that fell on it, but once again, it had happened in the first half. The 40-yard line. Danley 
across midfield. Look at that run inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. Stacy Danley, 17 yards on the pick. play such great defense they never give the other team good position. He's had six punts inside the 10 and 10 inside the 20 this year and McClendon goes absolutely nowhere as Tracy Rocker rocks him at the six yard line. McClendon has negative yards rushing. Gainesville, a record crowd and Auburn has the first and 10. Stacy Danley again. They have made some good yardage, Lee, on first down with Danley. Schulman at his 48. Beautiful high spiraling kick that angles to the near sideline. Look at this. And it is down at the one yard line. It was John Wiley who came and caught it before it hit the ground. They hand it right up to McNabb and he gets possibly to the line of scrimmage. Once again, the middle is in there with Craig Ogletree, 94 from his outside linebacker. And Auburn with their best field position in the second half. And it's Stacy Danley to the 35. And they have running now, Lee, on first down on three consecutive series. Stacy Danley again. Danley to the 25-yard line and an Auburn first down before Lewis Oliver makes his touchdown. On second and seven, Joseph, and he is dropped at the 15-yard line. Richard Fain makes a tackle. Transferred this year and has had a great job with the Florida Gators as Stacey Danley is inside the 10 to the 8. Reggie Slack down the middle. Reggie Slack to Walter Reeves is tight end, but it's not going to be enough for the first down. Nonetheless, that brings in Win Lyle. 23 yard attempt. And it's good. 14 21. Left to go. Fourth quarter. And Auburn with a 6 to nothing lead over the Florida Gators to the near side on first and ten. Perry going for some quick stuff and he's got Sneed and Perry took a big hit. Six of the previous seven games for the Gators. Intercepted. Intercepted by Quentin Riggins. And Morris pulls him out of bounds. A penalty marker goes down as he got him by the face mask at the 18-yard line. First interception of the year for Quentin Riggins, the junior from Montgomery. Double tight ends. Little misdirection, Danley nearly trips. Danley, touchdown Auburn! Strong safety on the coverage. 49 left to go. First and 10 from the 13. Stacy Danley to the 24-yard line. A penalty marker down is Kerry Watkins. Inside the 20. Fourth down and four for Florida. Nearly intercepted again. Carlo Cheatham, number 35, nearly picks it off on fourth down. McClendon will try to run with it, and that's just a 
That's just a dead issue right there, folks. Deflected at the line of scrimmage. 92, Ron Stallworth, and 96, Benji Rowland were the two men there. Left to go. Alexander Wright was the man in motion. The handoff, James Joseph. Inside the 25 to the 22-yard line as he went over the right side. The center said, the reason I went to Auburn, they had the fewest traffic lights of any school I went to. He says, I'm not a big city kind of guy. And he made a big block on that play. Now, the misdirection. Danley, look at him run inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. And he's going to go over to the sideline because he came up holding his hip. Danley right up the middle, and he's down to the two. 20 yards. And Auburn leads at 16 to nothing, and both coaches told us it would be the kicking game and turnovers, and Auburn three field goals from that man, Lynn Lyle, and great punting from Shulman, and they lead it. 1963 at Auburn, 19 to nothing. This game 16 tonight. Willie McClendon. And the freshman has had a long, long time. Die will pick up his first victory ever in Gainesville against the Gators. And that's going to be picked off. Perry's pack is picked off. Number 42, Doug Huntley. That's his second interception this year. The senior from Montgomery, Alabama. And that's been the story of the day for the offense of the University of Florida. And with 16 seconds left, they'll just sit on it. The last time Auburn shut out three consecutive opponents was back in 74 when they beat Tennessee Chattanooga 52 to nothing, University of Tennessee 21 to nothing, and the University of Miami 3 to nothing. And that's it. Auburn has spoiled Florida's homecoming. Their third straight shutout. Auburn beats Florida 16 to nothing. Stacy Danley with a tremendous day running the football. The two kickers, Wynn Lyle, the place kicker, with three field goals. And then Brian Schulman, the punter. The kicking game, no mistakes. And the defense that has given up the fewest points in the nation, eight and a half a game, well, they have just improved.